Hello everyone. So this video is about my Jeep Compass and I am about to talk about some unique features which even Jeep owners might not have noticed. First, look at the rear tail lamp and you can see a reflector which is placed sideways. Similarly, they have placed a reflector on the front headlamp cluster as well. So on the back it is red and the front it is white so that gives ample visibility during night i think every manufacturer should go for something like that there is not much cost involved all is needed is some thoughtful designing so that was my first point coming to the second aspect or unique feature of this car the car comes with all disc brake setup with 18 inch wheels and my third point is look at the unique fuel inlet there is no cap but it comes with a spring loaded mechanism so all you have to do is just press on the fuel dispenser nozzle inside and on removal it will close automatically now let's talk about the next feature or a special feature you can see a tiny jeep climbing up on the front windscreen similarly a jeco embossed underneath the front wiper and the rear defogger in a wave like pattern and a sea snake or dragon on the rear glass Similarly you can see classic jeep grill with the headlamp embossed on the back it is given on several areas so just a tiny designing element now coming to the next point that is how thoughtful jeep is in designing their cars they have given six hooks in the boot so you can have your luggage all tied up neatly and Next point is about the quality of sheet metal they have used. They are using very heavy duty metal. You can see how difficult or how much. Okay, look at the my all my muscles being taut because it is very heavy. You can't just lift it with single hand. So they have made no compromise. Now coming to next point is the auto folding wing mirrors. One feature is that. the wing mirrors will close once you lock the car and they will open only when you restart the car not when you unlock only when you restart the car the wing mirrors will open up so that is a thing i noticed thing is about the keyless entry for unlocking you need not press on the button all you have to do is just keep your hand here that will unlock the car for opening all other doors you have to keep it one more time see for locking you have to manually press the button now let us talk about some unique features inside the car first of all the electronic park brake this will get engaged automatically the moment you stop the car and for unlocking it there are two options you can manually unlock it or i'll show you see the car is now in park mode so to manually unlock it you have to first press on the brake pedal then only it can be unlocked that is another option is all you have to do is just put on the seat belt so you put on the seat belt after that you can simply put the car into the desired gear that is first or to the reverse then just lift the clutch gradually and give acceleration it will automatically 
disengage, disengage. See. Now another point which I would like to talk about is how thoughtful Jeep is in designing their cars. They provide a lot of switches, that is physical switches, not not just touch screen controls like some new cars where they even change their AC controls to touch screen layout. That is a complete disaster when you are driving your car you can't change the controls without looking so here you can see there is dual zone climate control is there so there are physical buttons for changing the temperature also you can control the same from the touch screen see here you can change the same from the touch screen so they have given plenty of options if you want touch screen you can go for that if you want physical controls it is there so next thing you can see there is a dedicated button for turning off the screen see an LCD display when turned on for long time it will get damaged naturally so in order to prolong the longevity of the screen you can use this screen off button when not in use similarly there is a dedicated mute button here there is another mute button underneath this steering wheel so steering wheel you can see there are some uh, audio controls here these are not audio controls these are for controlling the MID display the audio controls are provided beneath the steering wheel so it is just behind the steering wheel I'll show you that so yeah, hope you can see that there is some issue with the lighting This side you can clearly see. So on both sides beneath the steering wheel there is this control. So Jeep has thoughtfully done that. I appreciate that. Now another feature is how Jeep has illuminated all its interior switches. Not just one switch. If you look into some cars you will see that only the driver side window control will be illuminated during night but for jeep all the buttons that are available they are all illuminated this is illuminated these are all illuminated switches everything is illuminated even on the driver side and passenger side they are all illuminated now another feature is you can see they have provided a lock unlock switch even for the front passenger so that is a very thoughtful feature to have. Next useful feature I have noticed is if you come to the AC, if you are in a very hot situation, there is one dedicated switch. This is called Max AC. That will instantaneously cool the cabin. So that's a very useful feature to have. Now finally I would like to talk about some very simple but very interesting design elements. One is this. You can see the 3D type digital analog setup. What I mean by 3D is that you too, if you look closely you can see the color display is placed behind but the analog displays are placed in front so giving a nice 3d look this display is really crisp and it gives you a lot of useful information one design element which i would like to talk about is this you can see tiny honeycomb like pattern beneath the hemicircular gauge this is now blue this thing will change color accordingly to according to the situation so if you are over speeding that will become red during backup i will show you see the blue has gone to yellow so so this 
real time fuel gauge is another thing which i would like to talk about this will change its color now it is blue it will become green red and all depending on your driving style and the mileage shot is very accurate i have tested it by classic full tank method it's very accurate the best i have got so far is 13.5 it all depends upon your driving style i know there are people who are getting 15 plus then one more point the music system this is just a nighty gallery is almost a mid variant not the top of the line variant top of the line variant gets dedicated subwoofer and all uh this car doesn't have subwoofer it has just simple four speaker setup i don't see any tweeter as well no subwoofer this is not subwoofer but one thing which i would like to talk about this car is this tiny speaker provided here that is for giving you notification uh if you are using maps that will give you notifications through this speaker not just through the main speaker system so only the driver will be alerted no need to distract passengers with this notification so that is a very thoughtful feature by jeep so you can see the warning message check rear seat so that is a very useful indicator because in this busy days busy world people will forget to check the back seat especially when you have kids around so that's a nice thing to have that warning and also another unique feature is that whenever you unlock the car you can open both the front doors from inside without any uh unlocking that is no need to manually unlock the car you can open the car from inside no problem but the rear doors will remain closed even the people sitting behind they won't be able to open it from inside that we have to do manually either from inside or outside i think that's a good safety feature to have now another interesting feature which i noticed this this tiny door open indicator this tiny indicator is working real time because it will show which all doors are up open even the boot it will show if it is open on this tiny indicator you can see now i have three doors open but what i wish to share here is not just that there is one interesting feature suppose one door is open and you haven't noticed that in this tiny indicator then a large graphic image will come that to showing in real time which door is open so that much thought has gone into designing this 